Do you avoid attempting new things because you're worried about failing? Your outlook may be hindering your life and causing you increased stress. Cheryl Hunter, a best-selling author and stress expert, has some advice that can help make you a friend with failure. Cheryl reveals that facing failure can actually lead to stress reduction and personal growth. Failure is bad for your health because it causes stress. As we all know, stress is a killer, from causing accelerated heart rate to chronic heart problems over time. Failure has many myths. One of the biggest ones is that failure is a bad thing. You can just turn to social media and see hashtags like fail or epic fail to see that it's considered the ultimate humiliation these days. But the irony is success is built upon failure. History is filled with examples of people who have been leaders in all spheres who have failed, failed big and been public about it. Michael Jordan, Thomas Edison, JK Rowling, Dr. Seuss. History teaches us that failure is the access to success. Our relationship to failure causes us to think failure is a bad thing. We have failing collapsed with being a failure. And if we could distinguish that one does not mean the other, that failure is actually an access to becoming successful and developing ourselves and learning more about ourselves, then we can mine the gold at the heart of any failure. This allows us to become resilient. For me, it's what I see as like my biggest failure in life. It's, just, you know, it's a personal judgment, but that I am of a certain age and I'm not married with children. And that's really hard. Like what Cheryl was talking about, um, Looking at it in a different way, seeing the blessings in where I'm at, like, okay, so I haven't had the family yet, but really I've, I've had, like my mom says, I've had a really beautiful, great life. If I look at it in that perspective, it just helps me to be more grateful for what I have had and what I have done trying to see the good and the blessings and what my life has been gives me a peace of mind, more of a peace of mind. Yeah. My grandmother was a Rosie the Riveter in World War II. She went to work in a steel mill and she told a story about how steel was made. She said, we come up with the, the hardest, most durable, strongest substance known to man, steel, and it happens by burning it and burning it and burning it for so long that it becomes tempered. And as a child, I thought she just was referring to steel, but I realized that failure and steel are quite similar in that the failures we go through are kind of like going through the fire and we can allow them to burn us out and become stressed by them, or we can allow them to temper us in the same way steel is tempered. There are strategies to help you understand your relationship with failure. There are actionable tools we can take to make friends with failure. Get a piece of paper, write down at the top of it, one of your most vexing failures. And then ask yourself, what have you previously believed that the failure meant about you and your ability to be successful in the future? And then take a deeper dive and ask the question, what have I gained out of this failure? Where have I grown as a person? And how might this help me to succeed in the future?